Rich, do you happen to have an iPod on it? Small blind is on Tom Dwan. Asking for a spare iPod because he's run out of batteries. He's been at the table so long collecting everybody's money. The big blind on David Eldar. And the action is on Andrew Feldman. It's out of the way. Round to the Enigma. I'd just like to say it's nice to know that Smurfs are against <laughs> nuclear weapons. <laughs> and the Enigma makes a raise to 1,600. That is correct. Too much for Ziggy. Mm -hmm. Our Aussie jeweller has got a pair of ducks. Well worth seeing a cheap clock with. Oh, he's going to let it go from the button. Conservative play. And to Tom Dwan, who has King Queen offsuit, makes the call. So the Enigma versus Tom Dwan. This should get interesting. The flop. Nine, seven, three, two hearts. Well, that's an up and down straight draw for the Enigma. Just the overcards for Tom Dwan. And look at this. Two to form, he comes out betting. 3,400. Quickly called by the Enigma. Tom Dwan clearly trying to control the pot. The turn of three of clubs. Action will be on Durr once again. Well, let's help neither player. Will Durr take another stab at it? And he does. He makes it 9,200. And that blue face paint, which must have seemed like a very good idea this morning, now beginning to run a bit as the sweat and the tension get under the skin of the enigma and he calls again so we go to the river and it is a king of clubs so now tom dwan who has been leading in this pot spikes his king on the river must make him feel better now only a bluff can win this for the enigma there's tom dwan to act first Looks like he's going to bet again, so Tom Dwan's read is correct. He bets again, he must believe he's ahead. Yeah, he's been betting when he was pretty sure he was behind. And now that king spiked on the river. He's encouraged him to bet $23,600. And look at this, the enigma. He's counting chips. It's not going to be a bad spot to bluff, I'm afraid. I mean, he's out of whack. If he'd done it on the turn, he might well have got away with it. Oh, it would have to be a very convincing bet for Tom Dwan to not believe him. Tom Dwan, as he proved in an earlier hand against Andrew Feldman, is in a calling mood. It raises to approximately 70,000 there, so it's pretty committed. And he does call, so Grub, your instincts are right. It was a bad spot to bluff. The Enigma certainly trying to, you know, rough Tom Dwan out of the pot, but it didn't work. And everything so is going the way of Tom Dwan. <laughs> oh, testament to this style of game. 170,000 in that pot. The Enigma loses quite a lot of money, but they're still smiling. If one well, thing that rolls in loves, it's kind of getting a little yeah, extra value out of Tony G. Yeah, yeah. 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 there seems to be something about the two of them. There's going to be some verbal uh, warfare coming up, I believe. At the end of cost roll. <laughs> <laughs> I like your okay, roll. It's OK, buddy. Pass. If I had have hit the flush, I might have won the tournament, man. Well, that's, that's the other thing, if I won, if I didn't make a mistake. Call. Call. And I'm, I'm guessing Vicky is kind of happy that she's going to kind of get good. to see what yeah. Andy and Roland do before she has to act on her hand most of the time. Um, she's got her eyes on those two players. Like. Yep. They look, yeah, they're, they're the ones that um, they're kind of uh, not really desperation, but um, they're the ones that need to get some points here. And an interesting flop right here. Vicky might get get herself into trouble here. Wow. Five Actually, five, Tom and, and uh, Andy both have the, the 10. Wow, this, this is going to be very interesting. 
Okay. And, and Black is going to slow play this because yep. Dwan could have anything, including yep. complete air. Is that the idea? Well, that is, uh, yeah, there's different ways of playing it. A lot of, some players like to fast play the their big hands. Vicky may raise this. Raise to 17. Oh, this is going to be an interesting hand right here. Very interesting. Vicky is probably done with this hand uh, after she gets action, but um, it's going to be interesting to see what Tom does here and then also <laughs> what Andy does. Just feel the that, that it's a really dangerous raise from Vicky. Even even if uh, Tom raises here, Andy Black is kind of in a tough situation. Oh. Andy uh, is going to have to raise it here, I believe. Yep, right. there he goes. It's too many cards out there that could complete some weird draw, and you have to just end yep. it. I mean, is that the idea? Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. There's the the, the Jack Nine, the King Jack. There's a lot of uh, well. There's a not. There's a lot of draws out there, and uh, he just wants to get the money in right here. I mean, doesn't Vicky have to tell herself, "Look, Andy called, yeah. and then has I mean, it's come back around yeah. to him. She, her hand yeah. is so dead. Andy yeah, has yeah. to have a ten here, right? Yeah. Is there any way Andy no, no. cannot have a ten? Andy here? or Tom. I I, I could I can see Tom folding this hand. I think he's good enough to fold this hand. I'll, even though he is very aggressive, this is the situation. This is gonna tro show his true colors. But it is very very tough to fold. But um, it's pretty. I don't know. It's pretty obvious that Andy does have the ten here. Andy almost can't be making a move. So it, this would be a very impressive fold by uh, Tom. And I, I think he's capable of making this fold. Wow. That's. If he's given himself a chance to get away from this, that's just yeah. that's ridiculous, isn't it? That's wild. It's th just the way the action happens. It's very hard, but I think uh, if anybody is capable, I think he is. Well, he's taking the chip out. I don't. Uh, looks like he's gonna. Oh, uh, he's thinking twice. It'd be an excellent fold if 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 he can uh, if he can think it through and yep there he wow. goes there wow. he goes wow <laughs> and that's that is really world class and from a guy who's as aggressive as Tom I yep. mean the the way the action came down very very impressive fold but uh, the way the action came down he just he just figured it out that uh, Andy cannot be making a move there he has to have a ten and uh, his three kicker can't be good so. World class ball there by Tom. There is Billy Giordano in the yellow hat, local, right here in Melbourne, Australia, joining us at this 2010 monster cash game at the Aussie Millions. Action on David Eldar as Tom Dwan has a live straddle in play. David Eldar raising to 4,000 there with pocket fours. Over to Sandor, who's got pocket jacks and calls, and Tom Dwan. Has called with ace five. He's two point eight. So we are three to the flop. Yeah, you make a live straddle and pick up an ace. You're always pretty much happy. Tom decides to see whether he can catch an ace on this flop. And the flop is ace, ace, <laughs> deuce. He certainly does. And well, Sandor pays the price for slow playing his jacks here, and he reaches for chips. He's going to make a bet. He's so far behind here. The jacks still look pretty. Um, Betting into Dwan's trips here. Evening, mm -hmm. Dwan makes the call. And Eldar gets out of the way. We go to the turn. It is a five, so Dwan has now filled up. He's got a full house, and Sandor. Well, this time he checks. And Dwan will certainly check as well. I'm not sure he knows the Hungarian for please bet. <laughs> oh, oh, good lord, he's made no quads. Quad aces. Well, that's such a big hand Dwan has got. And look at this, Sandor is picking up chips. He's going to bet. And why wouldn't he? He's got a reasonable hand here. Pocket jacks, he mustn't think that Dwan has an ace. Yeah, he's made a full house. Ace is full of jacks. Tom Dwan's beautiful check on the turn has induced this bet. He bets 25,000, and now it's over to Dwan. He's sitting with quad aces, and someone's betting into you. How much more can he get here? 
Well, there will certainly be a raise on the river here. But the Shandor. question is, how much will it be? Sandor didn't get to be a billionaire surely by throwing money away. <laughs> Any sort of raise here. The minimum's got to be 25000 And that's exactly what it is. It's a raise to 50000 And Sandor nods and says, I call. You can't throw it away. And look at that. <laughs> the look of resignation as Sandor sees Duan's quads. An almost apologetic shrug there from Tom Duan. And he is happy to share the sheep. This is High Stakes Poker. I play one hand with him. Oh, you're right. Yeah. I don't know anything about him. High stakes poker with six players. If you know what everybody knows. I wonder who's going broke next. To beat him in the pot. Call. <laughs> Phil Ivey has over a million dollars now. Phil Ivey could actually have a hamburger and have enough money to pay off his million dollar bet with Duan. He could actually have a whole barbecue right now if he wants. Punish the Unabomber. I'm easily punishable. I am. There's many weaknesses in my game that people can exploit. You can ask Dur about them. He'll give you the list. When's Barry getting here? You might have to pay him something. What's it? Thirty what? Respect. Dur is the last one. We're going to find out about the respect card right now. This is the here moment. Here comes forty thousand. <laughs> From there, you don't know what to expect at any time in your life. It's total wild card madness game with there. <laughs> there is about 18,000 out there already. Both Phil and Antonio are goading Juan into raising here, hoping that he doesn't. But he does. And enter the wild card madness card. That is that a, that's a 25? I don't even have one of those. He goes right to the exploit. And he knows that I have to give him five chips to call. Five instead of just one. A cool 25,000 raise with eight nine of spades. Oh. He's the best. He just, he just torture me. When, so when I try and get him with one chip, he puts in two. Sure, it might be the best. So it's a one blue chip? Yeah. Ellie's big winner. He might take a shot. <laughs> one blue chip. A lot of people at home call it a one blue chip. <laughs> <laughs> just one blue chip. Worst lay down I ever make in my life. If I just called that survey, we would like to have four colors. See if Mr. Ivy puts in that blue chip. Nope, it's five white chips. It looks quite baller with Ivy's stacks of money and chips. It's <laughs> most baller. <laughs> okay. Juan misses. Phil Ivey's got a huge draw, nut flush draw, and an inside straight draw. A little $45,800 continuation bet. Ivy is analyzing the hand. It's very possible that Tom Dwan has a set. He raised 25000 before the flop. He knows he's not going to get Tom Dwan to lay down a hand like Ace King or Aces. How much is this hand right there? About 750. But he does have a big draw, and he is playing against Tom Dwan. He might decide to gamble and raise. He just calls. Three of spades on the turn, about as blank as you can get. 162,000 in the pot already. The man with nine high bets, 123-2. Phil Ivey has a big decision now. 
He feels he's behind. He's trying to figure out if he can get paid off if he makes his hand. If a diamond comes, can he get any money out of Juan? If a jack comes, is he just going to split the pot? He decides to call. I think he's calling for two reasons. One, he feels he can get paid off if he hits his hand. And two, there's a small chance that Juan is completely airballing. Ivy makes a pair of sixes on the river. Misses the flush, misses the straight. There's $408,700 out there. It's not like Tom Dwan to give up. This is the first time all season that the table has been completely quiet. Even Phil Locke and Antonio are quiet. He is loading the gun. He fires. 268,200. How much is that and how much do you have left? I have about 280 left. Juan's voice was a little shaky there. He did not want to hear any inquiries from Phil Ivey. Can't expect Phil Locke to be quiet forever. Two fifty-eight, two. Two sixty-eight. You can see that Phil Ivey is not showboating. He is seriously contemplating a call here with a pair of sixes. Well, what do you see? How long? What do you? What do you see? What I have that I'm taking this long? Long. <laughs> yeah, not, yeah, not gonna, I think I'm not I know what believe it is. this one. No, you don't. Yeah, I think I do. This is gonna be the sickest call of all time. <laughs> Juan really looks nervous. What Phil Ivey's trying to decide is, is he really nervous or is he acting nervous? The truth is, he is really nervous. Tom Dwan is starting to gulp now. The excitement is overwhelming to Ellie. Sorry. He only does for a minute. <laughs> Ellie, like he's sleeping. Sorry, this is not, I don't usually take, take this long. No, 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 I, I don't. No one cares, anything. Ivy. You can take till the It's 500,000 in the pot. You want us to tell you anything? <clears throat> 500 in the middle. Four, four something. <laughs> Go back to sleep, kid. Let's go back to bed. Juan looks worse. Can't be nothing. Except for that. <laughs> Can't be nothing except what Tom Juan has. Okay. Oh, that one hurt. How much my think he's eyes hurt so so really they give him five thousand if he can't show you ace higher better. Give him I give him a free roll for a thousand on ace higher better if he can't. I really think he's the lights just him. like. What's wrong with your eyes? Because I was staring at the same card the whole time, and something about the lights must really. You had that. Let's go. 
Dur, you're a very interesting human. I'm glad to be in your orbit, you know? Because I, really I know we don't connect a lot, but it's nice to be around, like... Like, I must have just been at a weird light angle. <laughs> well, maybe there is something wrong with his eyes. Maybe he didn't see what he had. You were wrong. But there's nothing wrong with his heart. One of the most outstanding... 500 and 1,000 with a $300 ante. Yeah. It might not seem like much of a raise, but this is our last show of the season. <laughs> and I think it's going to affect the action. I was responding to a comment in a friendly fashion. I thought this was the biggest game in town already. Raise it. There was a little bigger one. In this and Lex is here to gamble. 4,000 ace nine. I mean, right now. Well, oh, that was the biggest game I ever saw. Well, Andy Beal, right? Oh, yeah. That, Andy Beal's the only one that was bigger. Yeah. Then what? The, when we played this summer, 3K, 6K, PLO. That's so absurd. We had one time Floyd for like a <laughs> no. I didn't play that. As long. Daniel checks, Juan is noticing that beautiful 14, 15,000 out there already with two sevens and a three. Looks like Mr. TD is going to take a shot here. And here he goes. Oh my god, Yum Yum is here. <laughs> That's your nickname, Yum Yum. Lex is here, boys. It changed the game. It changed the game? Yeah. For Lex? 300 NT and uh, I think Tom will One two. Two. We're playing one two now. One two is good. Daniel's not going anywhere at this point. Maybe Tom and Phil will object, I think. Oh. <laughs> and no limit is a very hard object. There's the king Daniel was looking for. I got bad news for you. Hey, all the tournament players, we busted them all. All those genius tournament players. Got no shots over here. No? What are you exactly? I'm a cash game player. Really? <laughs> I thought you were just a businessman of those poker. Don't you know the shark, Elezra? He's famous yeah. everywhere in Vegas. No, more than that. The rumors of him Not go the through fish Europe. Elezra, the shark, Elezra. <laughs> All over Europe. I know he's still a fish. A shark is a fish. But. <laughs> Daniel's convinced he has the best hand now. 28-2. Dario Mineri. The this would be a sick one. Guy with the French name, also uh, the young kids. Mm -hmm. I think what's going on here is Juan is putting Daniel on a five six four five four six and thinking of calling with nine high. I mean, I don't think you can float like the Jack Ten here. I hope, right? Because if you're bluffing with that now, that would really suck. That's what's going on. He's going to do it. He calls with nine high. <laughs> I guess my call is terrible then, if you could float that. I made one of them hero calls. I've, I've done that a few times. Yeah. <laughs> it was wrong. <laughs> I don't look at this. That was a hero call. I had a nine. The nine high? They put me on the five, six, maybe. I know. Four. Mm -hmm. Back to the Golden Nugget with more of Poker After Dark, the cash game. Antonio and I all lived up in the uh, Bay Area at one point. Tom Dwan picks up two queens. It's a dirt, come clean, what is it? It's over zero. Okay. <laughs> So, is zero. so we know you're not a virgin girl, that's good to know. At one point, Tom Dewan was a regular old Boston University student, but now he's become one of the most feared players in all of poker. Wow. Top set for Antonio. What Phil Hummel thinks is the most record number of push-ups. Is that 24? I've heard you guys bet on this. Didn't you do this before? I now actually know what the world's record is. Right. But, but no, Phil, you don't know the world's record for push-ups, do you? Phil, do you know the world record for push-ups? 
Uh, I think this came up yesterday. So. Okay, so we'll get it. We'll get it then because he, he knew exactly what it was. I know. I, I do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I know it. I do, think I know what it is. Do the number of girls that Antonio saw. Wait, I just want to tell the world. Some guy did 10,502 push-ups. Wow, I thought it was 6,000. Yeah. Well, how long a period? Somebody told me it was nine. I checked. In how long a period? In two days, right? Uh, no, Antonio like tried to check raise the turn, and it just blew up in his face. It's online. You can read about it. Really? Yeah. 10,502 or something. That's hit the flop. By the way, all the poker videos say don't play out of position. Almost all of them. I believe. I believe they're right. I fold everything out of position, kid. I hate out of position. Especially against the genius. It's feel be lived there. I think you believe that. If that was the past one field we live, that's, that's right. Here comes Tom Dwan's raise. And how on earth is Antonio going to be able to put him on a set of queens? Tough to imagine that Tom checked 6-8, pocket nines, or pocket queens on the turn. This is going to cost Antonio some money. The only question is, how much? I just wasn't sure if you had 100 more, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's sick. Wow. That's called two outing, that's so sick. That is sick. Sorry about that queen. Slower, it wasn't two outing, it was one outing. He threw away a queen. You threw away a queen? Yep, queen jack. That is sick. Nothing but empty felt in front of Antonio Esfandiari. Like you should enjoy it. I can't, it's too it's much. Live your life, kid. Enjoy if it. If it was 10 it, or 20, I can enjoy it. If it's too much to enjoy, it's too, right? So five for 10 or 20, I can enjoy but I can't do it. I felt him. It's too that much. That was just a, that was, that was a one-outer. Yeah. Durr. A one -outer. Yeah. You need to live your money, keep it right just a little bit. Yeah, it's covering I need to the see camera. the genius plays you're making, kid. They need to see those cards. Durr, that was a one-outer. Wow. Those happen. Nice answer. Sorry about that. Bob. No need to say sorry, it's poker. <laughs> Antonio going deeper into the hole while Duan's climbing out. <laughs> 